Hey guys, Josiah here. I had mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I had ordered a 4GB RAM upgrade kit from Crucial and it arrived a couple days ago and just today I'm actually getting around to doing the install process so I'll go ahead and try to get videos for you guys of the install and then also maybe a startup video afterwards. So we'll be back. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is this panel down on the bottom here once you flip the iMac over. You want to go ahead and unscrew it with a very small tip Phillips head screwdriver. I only have a small flat head but it looks like it's coming out just fine okay the panel kind of pops out by itself and as you can see the screw here is actually mounted into the panel so there's no chance that you'll end up losing it. it's kind of neat touch by Apple um, then you have these two tabs here and the iMac uses laptop memory in order to keep the the form factor very small but I had to take this iMac in to get serviced couple days after I got it because apparently one of the sticks of RAM was bad but they replaced one of these and I can tell they're different kinds but uh, this one is Samsung and this is a brand I've never even heard before Hynix and it's really good quality I'm sure <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace the two gigs that I had in there with these uh, two sticks of two gigabytes each of uh, crucial RAM and yeah so basically all you do you align it so that the little notch is on this side and then you go ahead and just pop it back in just give it a little push and it, it you can feel it snap into place same with this side and that's it then you just push the little tabs in and put the panel back on really simple process. Apple did a good job of keeping this easy to upgrade. And as far as the hard drive goes, I do eventually want to upgrade the hard drive, but for now, this is kind of like one of those easy performance upgrades that I thought I would go ahead and do, max out my system's performance. So alright guys, we'll go ahead and get a video of it powering up and then that's that. Okay, so as you can see I have everything hooked back up, so we'll go ahead and power it on for the first time and see what happens. Good sign. Now before this thing started up in about 25, just a little bit under 25 seconds, so we'll see how quick this is. There's the desktop. We are already started up. Good grief, that was fast. Alright, so what we'll go ahead and do is make sure everything is done okay. Go to about this Mac. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says 4 gigabytes of 800 megahertz RAM, so yeah, looks like everything installed okay. So as you guys can hopefully see, the whole process was really simple and straightforward. Um, as I mentioned before, I paid just under $100 for this upgrade kit, and I would highly suggest that you upgrade your memory as it's probably one of the simplest ways to improve your system's performance. One thing I did want to clarify in my initial review of my iMac, I had mentioned that it started up in just under 25 seconds and I'd forgotten that since then I've installed several third party applications and it actually starts up now closer to around 30 seconds which is still very fast but I want to clarify that just in case some of you are wondering why it took longer than I'd initially said. Um, also a quick reminder. Make sure that anytime you handle any kind of computer components that you touch something metal uh, just to make sure that you discharge any static electricity that might have built up. So that's it guys. I hope this video is helpful to some of you and please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. So I'll talk to you guys later.